Pierre Puvis de Chavon was a French painter who is considered one of the most important artists of the late 19th century. He was a pioneer of the symbolist movement, and his work is characterized by its use of allegory, mythology, and dreamlike imagery. Puvis de Chavon was born in Lyon, France, in 1824. He studied painting at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris, and his early work was influenced by the Romantic movement. However, he soon began to develop his own unique style, which was characterized by its simplicity, clarity, and idealism. Puvis de Chavon is best known for his mural paintings. He created a series of large-scale murals for public buildings in Paris, including the Pantheon, the Sorbonne, and the Hôtel de Ville. His murals are often allegorical or mythological in subject matter, and they are characterized by their use of flat, stylized forms and muted colors. Puvis de Chavon was also a prolific painter of easel paintings. His most famous easel paintings include The Poor Fisherman, 1881, The Dream, 1883, and The Spirit of the Town, 1892. These paintings are typically characterized by their simple, idealized figures and their tranquil, dreamlike atmosphere. Puvis de Chavon was a controversial figure during his lifetime. His work was often criticized for being too idealized and lacking in emotion. However, he also had many admirers, including the poet Charles Baudelaire and the art critic Émile Zola. In 1852, Puvis de Chavon traveled to Italy, where he was inspired by the Renaissance masters. He also visited Greece and Egypt, and these travels further influenced his work and general outlook on life. Although Pierre Puvis de Chavon trained with Romanticist artists of his era, such as Eugène Delacroix and Thomas Couture, he was largely self-taught. Regardless of what was fashionable, he opted to work alone and in his own way. In 1854, Puvis de Chavon returned to Paris and began to exhibit his work at the Salon. He was initially rejected by this institution, but he eventually became one of its most successful exhibitors. One anecdote about Puvis de Chavon tells of how he once painted a mural in the Pantheon in Paris. The mural was of the poet Victor Hugo, and it was so large that it took Puvis de Chavon several years to complete it. When the mural was finally finished, the public was amazed by its beauty and scale. Puvis de Chavon was a complex and contradictory figure. He was a romantic and a dreamer, but he was also a practical and successful artist. It should be noted that he was a man of strong moral principles, and he was deeply committed to his art. His relationships with his models were often complicated and even messy, but they were also passionate and inspiring. It should be mentioned that it was no surprise that Pierre Puvis de Chavon had relationships with several of his models, including Marie Cantacuzine and Suzanne Valadon. Marie Cantacuzine was a Romanian princess who posed for Puvis de Chavon from the mid-1850s until her death in 1898. She was a close friend of Puvis de Chavon, and she was also his muse. She inspired many of his paintings, including The Poor Fisherman and The Dream. Suzanne Valadon was a young artist and model who posed for Puvis de Chavon in the early 1880s. The two of them had an affair, which ended after a few months. However, Valadon remained a close friend of Puvis de Chavon and continued to pose for him on occasion. She later became a successful artist in her own right. Suzanne's girlfriend advised her to investigate becoming an artist's model as a career, despite the modeling profession being regarded as a risque type of employment, and only one unavoidable step away from becoming the artist's lover, and it was a vocation frowned upon in many places. Her mother was convinced that her daughter would end up as an ordinary prostitute, but Suzanne, as determined as ever, was not to be deterred. Suzanne would gather with other young girls near the place de Pigal Fountain every morning to see whether she would be picked by an artist. She had several things going for her. She was effervescent in an elfin way. Her skin was delicate and the color of ivory. Her form had matured despite the fact that she was just 16 years old. 
She was a mix between an adorable and charming youngster and a self-assured voluptuous lady, and more significantly, she was just what an artist was seeking for. She was continually picked as a model, and she loved her new life. She described with joy being chosen from a group of prospective models, and sitting in front of an artist for the first time. For her, modeling for artists meant becoming a part of the Montmartre artistic scene, her daily schedule was set. She would pose for the artists in the afternoons until the light faded, then accompany them to the bars and cafe concerts in the evenings to partake in what was known as the green hour, the time for relaxation in the pub, stimulating conversation, but most importantly, imbibing the 136 proof anise flavored green spirit, absinthe. In 1882, at the age of 17, she was summoned to the workshop of the French artist Pierre Puvis de Chavon in Neuilly. Pierre Puvis, who was 57 at the time, was still a bachelor, but he was having an affair with Princess Marie Cantacuzine, the wife of a Romanian nobleman. Despite their 40-year age difference, Pierre Puvis and Suzanne fell in love and moved into his Neuilly flat. The luxury of his abode astounded her. This was a great cry from the accommodation she had shared with her mother. Pierre and Suzanne, on the other hand, couldn't be more unlike in temperament. She was wild, edgy, and outspoken, whereas the artist was softly spoken, nonchalant, and frequently lost in thought. She desired a night at a café cabaret, whilst Pubis desired nothing more than to accompany her on a nice stroll along the Seine's banks. Pierre Puvis and Susan Valadon's relationship lasted six months, and during that time he undoubtedly became a bit more spirited person as a result of being with Suzanne, and in exchange he seemed to have implanted a calming impact on the energetic young lady. It was the first time Suzanne had been dominated by a man in some way. The connection had to come to a stop at some point. It did not end in a heated argument with typical insults shouted. Their love affair had quietly drawn to a close. Pierre Puvis de Chavon died in Paris in 1898. He is considered one of the most important French painters of the late 19th century, and his work continues to be admired by artists and art lovers around the world. If you're enjoying the content so far, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos, and you'll never miss out. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out and lets us know that you're enjoying the content. And if you think this video would be helpful or entertaining for someone else, please share it with them. Finally, make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Hitting the bell ensures that you'll always be notified when we upload new content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.